Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update OpenTX. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is plug in our transmitter. So for this, we're just gonna use a USB cable on this Radio Master. It's a lovely USB type C connector so let's get that done so first thing we want to do is power on Welcome to OpenTX. and what we'll do is we'll just plug it in the top i wish a return button was here <laughs> one thing i found when using it so just plug it in the top plug it into the computer and then you just want to choose uh sd card and click the button that's all we need to do over here so let's head to the desktop okay so you would have heard a few beeps uh from that getting plugged in so what we now have if we look on here is we have a TX16, which is the actual transmitter itself. And we have the USB uh, drive, which is the SD card contents. So we'll need that later on. But first, what we're going to do is the most important step, which is take a backup. But first, what we need to do is make sure we're using the correct radio. So we're going to set this down to Radio Master TX16S. And now we're going to have a look at what options we want on OpenTX. So we want lua scripts flex r9m uh, this radio doesn't have the external access mod so i'm going to leave that off for a minute um, everything else we can leave as is we don't have a bluetooth module in there either um, we're english aetr mode 2 that's all good so we'll okay that and now what I'm going to do is click this button right here, which said read models and settings from the radio. And you can see there's only one model on there at the moment, so it doesn't really matter for this particular radio, but it also has the settings on there as well. So I want to show you guys how to do it. And what you can actually do is save this off. So if anything does happen, so let's do a save as. Right, so now that's all safe. Uh, I can do whatever I want to the transmitter and I can put that all back on. So we'll close this down. And what we're going to do is we've set up our, our options here that we want. So now we can download the firmware. So what we do is we click this button right here, click check for updates. And it will say we've not downloaded it before. Do we want to download it? Yes. So... I like to organize my stuff so we'll have a folder and then what we should really do is put the version so this is 2.3.11 done there we go so that's the firmware downloaded what we also want to do is download the sd card contents because you often find there is a slight difference so if you click that uh, button on the screen what you want to do is just look through it will take you to the correct uh, folder for the transmitter and you'll see the dates we just want because we're installing the latest version we want the latest date which has got 2.3 and then the version 0 0.35 so this is the latest one for version 2.3 so we'll go for that and i'm just going to save this on the desktop for now so we'll, we'll leave that downloading in the background but what we can do now is flash the firmware to the transmitter. So what we're going to do is use this write firmware to radio button. It's already loaded our firmware from the folder we've saved it in. So we've got the version, variant, the date and time. You can check hardware compatibility, but all we now need to do is just click write to TX. And that's it. It's, it's writing. Uh, sometimes, ah, cannot write firmware, unknown reason. So what we'll do is we'll try this a different way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to power off the transmitter. So that's switched off. 
but that is still connected. So what I'm going to do is plug it in and we can now treat it as if it's like a uh, in DFU mode effectively. So I'm going to try right firmware again. We're using the correct firmware and then we'll try right to TX. And you can see that the box looks different. So this is effectively like flashing, a, it's almost like flashing a flight controller. So this is actually flashing the hardware inside in DFU mode. So if you do have a problem, try this and it will most likely work. And if you have a problem connecting your transmitter like this, you can use the impulse RC driver fixer to actually get the transmitter to connect to the computer. So this is all going through, looks like it's fine. So what I'll do is I'll fast forward and then we can see what happens at the end. There you go. You can see this time we have successfully flashed the radio. So what we'll do, we'll just go ahead and close this. And what I'm going to do is just unplug it and power it back on. Welcome to you can see it's working fine. Now, what we're getting, <laughs> I'm being lazy, is we're getting an SD card warning, which is our next phase. So we'll just press any key and then we'll plug our USB back in. Oh, sort of fail safe. And then we just want to select SD card mode again. So we're connected like normal now. So what we can do, um, just quickly, we can read models. You can see that's all still on the transmitter. So we don't need to restore the backup. It's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to close down companion. We'll bring back our file explorer and we can see here we have the SD card. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder on my desktop which I'm just going to call leave as new folder and I'm going to copy all this stuff over. So again this may take some time but because I I uh, didn't actually check which version is on there now. I don't know what's different. And what we're going to do is manually update the SD card just to make sure that we haven't got any duplicates and that sort of thing. So this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm not going to sit here like this again. I'm just going <laughs> to get on with stuff until it's ready to go. Okay, so we're done. So what I'm going to do now is delete this. <laughs> um, which again might take a little bit of time, but hopefully not too long. And then what I'm going to do is open the zip file that we downloaded from OpenTX. So once this here has finished, what we're going to do is copy over the new, the new files from this zip file which if you have a look here, compare it to what was on there already, you can see there's quite a bit of difference. Um, so things have definitely moved about. So if we'd just copied it over the top, we would have had a lot of duplication and wasted space potentially. So let's, oh, come on, <laughs> just do it. Right. So there we go. So now we have an empty SD card. I probably should have taken it out of the transmitter and put it in the computer if I were in quicker, but never mind. So next thing to do is copy everything from the zip file onto the SD card. And again, I'll be back. There we go. <laughs> right, so now we can close this down. We have got everything on the SD card that we need for this to work. So what we can do is check what we have and what's missing. So what I'm going to do is first go through the folders that are already existing. So we have firmware, firmware. So he's got a couple on here already. So it looks like the multi-protocol and the transmitter itself. Let's just stick it back on anyway. Not the README. But what we're going to do is just go through 
and see what's missing and what's not. So we have 51, 51, that's the same. Logs doesn't really matter, not as any anyway. Models, we'll copy that back across. That's a very important one. Screenshots, nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, we'll look in scripts because this crossfire folder here has probably been moved into, I think, tools. Yeah, so so now we have a, a, a crossfire thing built in here. We don't actually need this anymore. So we can ignore crossfire. So let's look at the other scripts just to make sure that there aren't any missing. So there's nothing in functions, nothing in mixes, tools. Again, we don't need this. It's all already here. So we have, don't worry about the Lua C, that's just a compiled file. So once this one's run for the first time, it will automatically create the C version. So don't worry about that. So we have Free Sky Gas Suite, uh, SBEC, XSR. So we have everything, plus there's this new multi-channel updater as well. So that's all fine. Wizard, this shouldn't need going into. This is going to be on the on the radio. Sounds will probably be um, something that you need to look at. So what I tend to do is I get rid of the languages I don't use, just to save up a bit of space. You could just not transfer them in the first place and save all this <laughs> waiting about. But I'm pretty sure that's just going to be the standard sounds. Yep. So I won't even bother looking into that. It's all standard. We know that this XSR, we don't need any more. They're also in the tools. Themes, unless there's a, a new theme been added, we don't need it. So this one has a TBS theme. So we could add that. Um, widgets, battery check, counter ghost and so we haven't got this show all so let's add show all and that's it we're good to go so everything we need is now back on here um what i'm going to do is also add a few extra sounds that'll be useful you can add whatever sound packs you like there's like the amber sound pack um, but i'm going to add the ina fix wing group uh, sound pack So we have SD card. I'm just going to drag these into here. So there's a standard sound folder, which is just useful sounds like for different flight modes. And also there's one for the INAV Lua script. So just keeps everything consistent. So those will go in there. And I know guy who owns this radio also flies um, petrol so I will add my sounds too if I can remember where I put them so what I'm going to do they go in sounds en and there we go we're all done so what we can do is now disconnect the USB what I do is power off the transmitter just so that it gets a, a reboot and come out. So when we power this back on. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Everything's there working. We have our sounds. And if we go in system, we should be able to see a new version. So there we go, version 2.3.11. We're up to date. So you can see what's supported on there. Pretty much everything apart from the uh, access mod but this radio doesn't actually have that so there we go so i hope you guys found this video useful and now you can update your transmitters too i'll be doing another video soon for how to update the multi-protocol module so stay tuned for that please remember to like subscribe and click the bell icon if you found it useful it'll help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too Thank you guys. Fly models like you stole them. See you on the next one.